Good morning, John. Okay, this is... I didn't think this was going to be as difficult as it is. It's a bit of a tradition here on Vlog Brothers. Who is this beauty? What are you? Let's find out what's inside the box. Don't hurt yourself. That's the important. Oh, geez, I almost got me. Let's calm down a little bit. What's inside the box? Another box! Sorry, this is heavy. It says <laughs> beautifully foolish endeavor A. Don't do it toward yourself. That's the one rule. And inside this box, like, let's just tilt the camera down here. Whoa, too far! Inside the box. Pieces of paper! Enter into the Vlogbrothers tradition of signing tens of thousands of sheets of paper. Here they are. Just do one on camera here. Will this be the one you get? Voila! How do you know it's this one? It'll have a very slightly hairy eight. That's this one. That's the worst thing I could have done. I was watching your video from 2011 when you were signing The Fault in Our Stars very quickly, and you were a little frazzled. And to be honest with you, I'm a little frazzled. But John, more important than that, Pow. It is, I think, somewhat unusual that someone has to sign tens of thousands of pieces of paper, and so I'm taking this opportunity to do something. I'm gonna test every single permanent marker I could find to see which one is the best one, and then I will know that. No one has ever had a chance to know this before. I'm gonna be the one who figures it out, because I have that, I have the opportunity to be that person. I bought like $250 of permanent markers, John. I want to know what the best ones are. So as an example, here's the stack that one black Sharpie did, and here's the stack that one red Sharpie did. You can see that the, these stacks are different sizes. But we have a lot more pens to go through. So yeah, it's time for me to destroy, to just destroy these pieces of paper. I'm sorry, I'm not destroying them. I'm adding value to them, though I am destroying this one. I hated that. Why did I do that? A beautifully foolish endeavor is the name of the book, and it is out July 7th, 2020. And yes, signed copies are available for pre-order now. If you've already pre-ordered an unsigned copy, you can cancel that order. It's not a big deal. Pre-order the signed copy. It will be great. Please do that. And when you do it, a tiny signal will be sent to a computer somewhere, and that computer will say, hold on, this person has reserved a book. And then, later, uh, these pieces of paper that I am signing right now will be sent to a binder, and they will be bound into finished copies of A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor, and then those books will go off to book distributors, and the places where the little mark was made inside of a computer, they will say, this one is that person's, and this piece of paper will go to you, and I think that's pretty amazing, and then only, and only then, will your debit card be charged. It actually doesn't get charged until they send out the book, so that's interesting. And just to round out the video, I got some questions on Twitter. This one's from Gabriel. Thoughts on these cursed Kirbys? My thoughts are no. If both birds and sheep have flocks, are birds sheep or are sheep birds? Sherbs. Why doesn't Tarzan have a beard? He doesn't want a beard. He shaves. And finally, Kilko asks, how do you cope? Well, the new season of RuPaul's Drag Race is coming out, so that's gonna help. We're working through it. We're gonna do it. As a species, collectively, individually, I'm gonna do it. John, did you know that I have a Y2K calendar? This is actually before the year 2000, the next millennium, time remaining, but you can set it to any time, and I have it set to the time when my book comes out, which is 130 days, 2 hours, 48 minutes, and 55 seconds from now. So, it's coming. It's closer than it's ever been, and now it's even closer. And now it's closer still. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. I'm fine.